Alright guys, here's some more equations that we can practice. So you've got to get rid of the brackets. So we know how to get rid of this. We say x times x, which is x squared. Then we say x times 3, which is 3x. Minus 2 times x, which is minus 2x. And then minus 6. Minus 3x equals to 7x plus. Now we have to do the same here. So x times x is x squared. x times 4 is 4x. 1 times x is x. Ooh, I'm going to squeeze this in. And then 1 times 4 is 4. Okay. Now what we can do is we can just simplify. So on the left we have an x squared. Remember the x squared can't be plused with 3x. Because when we looked at that chapter long ago with algebraic expressions, you can only add them or subtract them if they are like terms. So your like terms are going to be all the x's. And then your x squares are going to be there and there. And then your numbers are there and there. But let's just do everything on the left first. So x squared, um, then the blue ones is 3x minus 2x, which is 1x minus another 3x, that's minus 2x. So I shouldn't actually have a plus here. So that's minus 2x. Then the minus 6 equals 2. Now on the left hand side, we've got 7 plus 4, which is 11, plus 1, which is 12x plus x squared plus 4. Now we can bring all the x's over to the one side. So this needs to move, and this is also going to move, and then all the numbers will go to the other side. So this minus 6 will go that way. So what do we already have on the left? We've got x squared minus 2x, so we write that first. Then we can bring the 12x, so it becomes minus 12x, and then we can bring the x squared, so it becomes minus x squared equals. Then on the right, we've got a 4. And then we're also going to take this minus 6 over, so it will become plus 6. What's nice is that this x squared will cancel with that x squared. And so we're left with minus 2x minus 12x, which is minus 14x, equals to 4 plus 6, which is 10. And so to get rid of the x, or to get x by itself, you have to divide by minus 14 on both sides. Why? So that it cancels over there. I would then just type this next part in on your calculator so that the calculator can simplify it. And after the calculator simplifies it, you'll end up with minus 5 over 7. All right, here's another one. So we want to get rid of these brackets. So we multiply x times x, which is x squared. Then x times 4, which is 4x. Minus 1 times x is minus 1x. And minus 1 times 4 is minus 4. Here we want to get rid of these brackets. So that's x squared minus 3x minus 4x plus 12. Okay, so on the left hand side there are like terms over here and there. So we're going to say x squared. Then 4x minus 1x is 3x. 3x minus 3x is 0. So the x's are actually cancelled out. Then I'm just going to say minus 4 equals 2. Now on the right hand side are there any like terms? Yes, these two. Oh, and, and um, this one and this one. So the 6 and the 12 will become 18. The minus 3 and the minus 4 will just be minus 7x. Now I'm going to take all the x's to the left and all the numbers to the right. So like that, like that, and then this number is going to go to the right. Okay, so what do I have on the left already? x squared. Then I'm going to bring this x squared over, so it is positive, so it's going to have to switch to negative. And then this minus 7x is going to come over and become plus 7x. Equals. Then I've got an 18, and then this minus 4 is going to become a plus 4 on the other side. The x squares cancel, and so we're left with 7x is equal to 22, and so x is going to be 22 over 7. With this one, don't let the fractions put you off. Do it on the calculator, so you type in 3 over 4 times 4 on your calculator, and that will just end up becoming 3x. Then you do 3 over 4 times 12, and that will just become 9. 2 over 3 times 9 is just 6, and then 2 over 3 times 6 is just going to be a 4. You see, so it turns out to be something quite easy. Don't let the fractions put you off. Now what we can do is we take all the x's to the left, and we take all the numbers to the right. So what do we have on the left already? 3x. Then when that 6x comes over, it has to change signs, so it'll become minus 6x. Then we have minus 4 plus 1, and then this minus 9 will come over as a plus 9. 3 minus 6 is minus 3, 
minus 4 plus 1. You can do this all on the calculator, but minus 4 plus 1 is minus 3, and then minus 3 plus 9 is 6. We then divide both sides by minus 3 in order to get x by itself, and so x would be minus 2. Here's another one. So you need a, when you've got fractions like this, you need a common denominator. Now the common denominator for 3, 4, and 2 is 12. So we will have to multiply this one by 4, so it will become 4x. This one will be multiplied by 3, so it will become 3 times 2. And this one's going to be multiplied by 6, so it will become 6 times x. And so that's just going to be 4x minus 6 equals to 6x. Kevin, but don't we have to write it over 12? Oh, guys, when you are busy with equations, only equations, you are allowed to drop the denominator once they are the same. So you can ignore them. That's what's nice about equations. You can't do it if it wasn't an equation, but if it is, you can drop them. Now it just becomes a normal question. I'm going to take this to that side and I'm going to take this to that side. So it will be 4x minus 6x equals 2. This will become a positive 6. 4 minus 6 is minus 2. Then I'm just going to rewrite that over here. To get x by itself, you divide both sides by minus 2. And so you end up with x is equal to minus 3. Here's the last one. So here we've got fractions. So you need a common denominator. Many students forget about this one. That's currently over 1. So a common denominator between 3, 2, and 1 is just going to be 6. So that means that this one will be multiplied by 2. So what I do is I put a 2 there and I say x plus 1. This one is going to be multiplied by 3. So it just becomes minus 3x. And then this one is going to be multiplied by 6. So that just becomes 24. Now I can ignore the denominators and I can just do the sum normally. So that becomes 2x plus 2 minus 3x equals 24. I now take the number to the other side. So it becomes 2x minus 3x equals to 24 minus 2. 2 minus 3 is minus x. 24 minus 2 is 22. I then divide both sides by minus 1. And so x is minus 22.